My name is Giorgio Milos and I'm the Master Barista for Ili Cafe and I'm here today to share my secrets about milk steaming in order to prepare great cappuccinos, beautiful lattes and maybe some latte art. Let's see how it's going. Uh, today we are using uh, Ili coffee beans, the Ili blend, uh, a medium roast that is really balanced and smooth. Let's start with a, a beautiful latte. A latte is nothing else than a different, slightly different version than a cap the, the traditional cappuccino. So a latte is uh, a drink uh, with uh, based on espresso and milk uh, with just a little bit of foam to uh, make the drink a little bit smoother, okay? So for, uh, for a latte, we need a steaming pitcher, uh, stainless steel, so we can, the stainless steel conduct the, the heat very well. So you can check the temperature by your hand if you don't have a thermometer, that you can then, then check the, 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 the temperature of the milk inside. Uh, you, you, your hand is a good thermometer, so uh, trust, in your, trust in your hand. So the final temperature should be exactly the temperature you can touch with your hand, it means that while you're steaming the milk and it's too hot for touching, it's time to turn the steam off. Okay, so uh, the first step is using whole milk. Whole milk is the, pref the preferred milk because the lipid contents in the milk can create a very creamy and elastic foam that is uh, much easier to pour into the, cu into the cup and it's also for, and also for the taste. You know, uh, lipids uh, are aroma carriers. So the fat part, the lipids part in milk can really extract the good flavors of the espresso of the coffee. So we're gonna pour whole cold milk in, um, in this metal picture. You don't want to fill up until the top. So the, usually, usually you fill up half away, okay? Never, never fill up less than 40% of the capacity or more than 60% because we need enough milk to complete the treatment, the treatment, but also we need enough space for the foam, especially when you steam milk for cappuccino. But in this case, we're gonna steam milk for latte. So now what I'm gonna do I'm ready for steaming, and it take, it's going to take probably 15 seconds for steaming this milk, and in this, and, 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 I, and I will do it in the same in the same time. I'm going to pull the espresso. So remember, the espresso is 30 second extraction, pretty much. So I have plenty of time for steaming my milk. All right. So again, I'm going to remove the handle. I'm going to flash the water. No coffee into the into the basket, so no need to knock it out. So you're going to go and you press and you. Grind the coffee. So you want a pretty even surface, so you want to rock around, knock around like this. So put in a stand so you won't you won't touch the, 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 the counter. And then with a 30, pre 30 pounds of vertical pressure, you compact the coffee cake in this way. Okay? Little turn, doesn't help, doesn't bother. So then you reconnect very gently, okay? And then you're gonna take your latte glass right here and start the extraction. In the meantime, I'm gonna purge a little bit of the steam because the steam part, this, the first part of the steam is always very watery. So we want, don't want to put too much water in our, in our milk. So now I, I can have a beautiful, I have to create a beautiful spinning inside of the pitcher. So I'm gonna put the steam one in an off-center position in order to let the, speed, the, 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 the steam uh, push the milk and the milk can spin around, okay? So this is the position you want, just a little bit below the surface. You open the steam full power, okay? You open the steam full power so the milk starts spinning. We want to introduce a little air, so you wanna lower the pitcher. You can hear this beautiful, this sounds like tearing paper. This is the air introduction, okay? The more air, the more foam. For a latte, we don't need too much foam, so I'm not gonna introduce too much air, okay? And then the second phase is go deeper in, uh, below the surface, so you stop this, the, the tearing paper sounds, but you're just keeping, the, uh, keeping the, the, the spinning in order to reduce all the bubbles in micro bubbles. When you cannot touch the pitcher anymore, it's ready. Then what you want to do, what you have to do, is to clean the steam one, all right, outside, and also purging again, so you can remove some residual milk that maybe that can get stuck into the steam one. So the foam needs a couple of seconds to stabilize, stabilization. So leave the leave the pitcher for a few seconds on the counter. Don't move it. Don't touch it. So you can really get all the foam on top. 
If you see large bubbles on the surface, you can tap on the counter so you can break the bubbles down. And then the, a very important step is this one. You have to swirl the pitcher in order to uh, let let's, uh, the, the milk spin so you can compact, you can combine again together foam and milk. What you want to do is to pour directly into the coffee so you can really uh, bring the, 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 the color up, okay? From above, like this. Then you want to go down and touch the cup and you want to increase a little bit the speed so you can make a little bit of white foam on top. All right. So, as you can see, the level of foam, the little level of foam on top is now much, uh, this is not a cappuccino, this is a latte. It's very uh, milky, uh, but good balance. So, what you don't want to do is to reuse the leftover milk you have. So, uh, the, steam, the steam is, of course, is water, but there is something uh, very important to know about the milk. So. Some elements in the milk are not very good friends with heat. So every time we steam the milk, we change the, stru the chemical structure of the milk. So if you reuse the same milk over and over, you burn it. And the taste and smell of the milk is very burnt, let's say. And of course, if you pour that milk into the coffee, even if you use high quality beans, the milk is burnt, so the latte is not gonna be good. So I hope you learn something more from me uh, uh, about the uh, milk steaming and latte preparation and thank you very much. <laughs>